Sagittarius, Sagittarius, ooh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, ow, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, hey, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, ow, what's up, Saggy baby, what's popping, what's going on in the life of a Sagittarius for June 2019, <laughs> are you guys in this space of trying to progress and finally just focusing on Sagittarius, not what everybody else got going on, but Sagittarius, <laughs> it's about damn time. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. What's going on? I'm Mocha. It's your first time on my channel. Also, hey, boo, hey. Look out. I cuss. <laughs> may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because me, I'm going to do that. To the new subscriber, y'all, welcome to the family. We all are dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight with us. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, okay? We grow, we love, we share, we evolve, we enlighten. Posy vibes only ground this bitch, okay? To the returning subscribers. What's up, family? What is going down? Sagittarius, Sagittarius, hey, Sagittarius. Y'all energy just made me want to wiggle, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, all of it. Thank you. I truly appreciate it, you guys. Thank you for being a part of my family. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all the generosity. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the donations. Thank you just for being fucking you. You're fucking awesome. And ain't nobody told you lately. This will be for the Summer Rising Venus as well as the Cross Watchers. For the sign of Sagittarius. For the month of June. It may or may not resonate with everybody as it is a general reading. But if you need a personal reading, you can take your ass on down to that description. Click up and now, and that information will be found. All right? So let's get into it. Y'all don't like the way Sass got shit to do. Okay? So let's get into it. We're going to get into your intuitive messages first. What I got for you guys intuitive. I'm recording. If the door is closed, that means not. I have a nine-year-old. He's going on 49. And he may not make it to 50, okay, in the, on the soul level. If he keep knocking, if he fuck, he got a Sagittarius rising. Y'all do what the hell y'all want to do. I understand that. I got a Sagittarius dog. Puppy ass. I think he really think his name is Puppy ass. But he, look, he do what he want to do. And I, I'm an Aries. I don't play that shit. Y'all, so excuse me. I have to go mommy mocha. Let's get it, okay? <laughs> Intuitively, you guys got conclusions, releasing, great wealth, persistence pays off, love life, jokes on you, gotcha bitch, solitude, balance, family ties, past life, plot twists, business loans, fearful conversations, starting over, trusting the unknown, Falling in your lap. Apologies. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Narcissism. Past life. Family deception. Apologies. Fair outcome. Self-sabotage. Obsessive ex. They still love you. Legalities. Restraining order. Ancestors. Evil eye. Y'all, Sagittarius, what the hell? What the, I still wanted to dance at the beginning, but what the, what the hell? What the hell, Saggy? <laughs> Let's talk about it, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Shit, y'all, please comment and let me know if those intuitive messages resonate, you guys, because this is definitely your message, okay? Gotcha, bitch, and a few of us made me want to laugh, but we have to keep it professional, okay? Because my spirit guides, you know, they, they got G to them, too, okay? So the overall energy around the reading, you guys? Three of clubs, okay? So a lot of you guys may be um, actually focusing on work, focusing on your how you make your money, focusing on your business endeavors, focusing on anything that's needing to be transitioned or changed around or restructured. You're focusing on the areas in your life of the reading. A lot of you guys are working on renewals, and some of you guys could also, I'm hearing renovations as well. Some of you guys could be... Um, trying to close on a property where there's some type of renovations that needs to needs to be done make sure that you're able to negotiate price around them damn renovations y'all said i ain't got to tell y'all let that day be the day that your private eye private eye works for you okay 
in the month of June. Some of you all, some of you guys could be um, possibly closing out some type of deal, possibly with the father figure or the father of your children. Okay, for some of you all, some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign or some earthy energy, okay? Some of you all may be seeing a lot of frogs, which is signifying abundance for you all. And for some of you all, this has to do with your life path. There is abundance around your life path, but there's a need for you guys to kind of jump off the damp, jump off the porch, Saggy, and get out here and actually go and have that faith in yourself. Some of you all are doing that in the month of June. Your confidence is on fleek, <laughs> and you guys are looking gorgeous. For some of you all who've been focused on your abundance, I do see abundance is yours. But for some of you all, it's it's a need for you guys to go get it. You like you're manifesting whatever it is that you are putting your focus into. Because some of you all are, some of you guys are doing something different when it comes to the law of attraction. For some of you all, this has to do. Um, some of y'all gonna find out that somebody was trying to be a block to your damn money. And for some of you guys, it could be a father figure, okay? And for others of you, this could have to do with some type of like family ties, family inheritance, family business. You may be appointed um, to be in charge of some type of uh, restructuring or some type of order to kind of, some of you guys, are, your, your elders are kind of needing you to rebuild the structure of the family business. And this could be also tied to those renovations as well, moving some type of location or um, getting some type of business loan in order to rebuild. I'm here to rebuild. Others of you are deeply in thought during this time. Some of y'all could actually be thinking and kind of going back and forth over the past and kind of comparing the past to where you are in the now. For some of you all, this has to do with your growth. For others of you, this has to do with you being in the space of needing to forgive a mother or a father figure. For some of you all, there are ties around some type of abandonment issue and you're kind of reflecting and working on yourself as well as being very careful and discerning on who it is that you're attracting in your energy because you're kind of recognizing that you're kind of attracting the same energies of people who mirror that energy. So they're bringing like certain triggers to the surface for you all. And this is just about acknowledging and acknowledging these things and actually seeing that seeing the foundation of where the issues internally lie so that you can truly heal, baby, and move forward and push on to be your best life, to live your best life and be your greatest version of yourself. For some of you all, there's definitely some type of money. Some of y'all could also be getting some type of receiving some type of payout. If you've been thinking or um, feeling that something, some of y'all have a feeling in the month of June that something big is coming. What's, what's big is coming? Some of y'all have unexpected income coming. Some of you guys could be playing the lottery during this time or gambling. That Jupiter energy is working in your damn favor if you've laid, laid your fruits in positive sectors of your life. Some of you all, I'm also hearing forgiveness. There's a chance to forgive either, again, a mother or a father figure. For some of y'all, this could be a sister. I'm hearing sabotage. Someone could have sabotaged some type of love dynamic for you guys. Or some type of like family tie. I'm also hearing mother-in-law. So this could also be tied to a mother-in-law. I'm hearing narcissism. So somebody could have been dealing with someone who had some type of, somebody had some strong mommy issues. A mommy had some type of power struggles that could have destroyed what could have been some type of divine union or divine partnership. I am hearing redo. So there is going to be a redo. There is going to be some type of, there's been some type of retrospection. Either on your end or the other person's end or even this damn mother-in-law. Because somebody, some of y'all was even dealing with people using magic to kind of prevent you from moving forward. I'm hearing succubus, incubus. Some of y'all could have been dealing with people that are using, that were using some type of sex spells. I am hearing bondage free. So I am hearing you're free of bondage if you were in any type of um, situation where you, where you need to free your energy from somebody trying to manipulate it. I don't feel like this has to do with harm. I feel like this has enough. For some of y'all, this is going to be occurring in the month of June. Someone is going to start crank that shit up again. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of y'all, this could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you guys, you have a decision to make, and I'm hearing two families. So some of you guys, someone could be uh, kind of going back and forth in thought if they're going to be with one family or another. Someone could have two separate families. Someone wants to put in work and progress the situation as well with you, uh, Sagittarius. And I'm also hearing collaboration. So this could have to do with some type of business, uh, business ideas, business venture, some type of entrepreneurship. Some of you guys may get in some type of environmental work during this time. And some of y'all also may be, some of y'all could also be gardening as a space of meditation. Others of you, there is some type of download or some type of esoteric information or insight that you're going to be receiving by why you buy. Some of y'all are really heavily connected to an elm tree. Please look that up. I don't know why but the elm tree is very important, especially when it comes to grounding for the Sagittarius. 
Some of you all are going to have the um, opportunity to really embark on some type of philosophical journey. Some of you guys may also be wanting to travel the world during this time and go, like, dude, some of y'all want to be bloggers, like traveling the world to blog. And for some of you guys, this has to do with some type of conspiracy ties. Like, and it's, for example, I know people uh, view me from all over, okay? Uh, for example, when I was younger, I was always afraid, um, and, and I hope this don't offend nobody, because, you know, this is, we, we family, we 100, okay? I was always afraid, I was taught to be afraid to visit Africa or Jamaica or places like that, because they was like, you're beautiful, they don't like American women, your ass ain't gonna make it back, you know? And so it took for me to actually meet people from these spaces and really get to know the culture for me to understand it. That's not true at all, you know, so I've already booked for my damn passport, and this year, <laughs> y'all what? Y'all better be ready to shake that bum bum with the kid later on in the year, okay? <sighs> Shaking that bum bum, okay? I'm going to shake, sh shake the shiznai out the bum bum, okay? For some of you all, this has to do, some of y'all could be, um, some of you could be dealing with someone who is trying to manipulate your thought process. If you've been feeling not to eat someone's food, especially if you're separated from this person, y'all really, really trust your instincts because your instinct, your, your instincts are at an all-time high. Your intuition is at an all-time peak. Some of you all may be getting some type of dreams or synchronicities of sacred geometric symbols, and these symbols are tied to your past life as well as your life purpose here within this life. Some of you guys also. Some of y'all are able to channel some type of orb beings. And some of you all may be, um, some of y'all also may be connected to the God frequency that 963 hertz during this time. Some of you all are trying to meet your spirit guides. Get to know them. Get to know their names. Pay attention to the synchronicities. when you And do not try to channel your damn spirit guides if you are afraid of anything paranormal. Because honestly, when you really call and want to get to know them, they will appear. Pay attention to the names, pay attention to the billboards, pay attention to everything that you pass, anything that you see synchronicities in. If you see Lauren every damn well, then you have a spirit guide named Lauren. Some of you all have been getting some type of intuitive insight. Some of you all got a telepathic connection with someone who you've loved on in the past life. This could also be someone from your past. But in order to balance things out, in order to bring some type of change to the situation, someone has to take off the mask in order to come and transform the energy here. Like, invite some type of transformative energy in. That damn card damn near tried to jump out my hand. I don't know if y'all seen that, but, geez, that was really interesting. I also get with that happening that someone is, someone has been very remorseful as well. And for some of you all, you may be finding feathers. Some of you guys also may be attracting uh, dragonflies as transformation and change is upon you, baby. And the universe is giving you a, is, is giving you an opportunity to accept the bestowing of harmony in your life, baby, in every area of your life. But some of y'all just could have to do with uh, your business endeavors. Some of y'all just have to do with family ties and the restructuring of some type of family dynamic. But some of you all, you're having to cut people out. Understand that when life brings you a whole bunch of chaos at one time, it's because you you get ready to embark on a, on a major damn list. But everybody can't come and everybody can't sit at the table. Sagittarius, a lot of y'all are now figuring out not only... Do I bring the motherfucking bacon to the table? Not only do I bring the food to the table, I am the motherfucking table. Without me, this motherfucking table would not sit sturdy and solid. So there's a level of respect that I will demand. And I feel like a lot of you guys have been putting your true emotions in your pocket in the month of June. Spirit says no more of that. You are protected. Speak your motherfucking truth. Don't hold it in your damn head. Some of y'all got great ideas that you're sitting on because of other people's perception. And some of y'all have a mother figure that is extremely jealous of you. I don't know if this is your mother. I don't know if this is the mother of a lover. But some of you guys, I mean, and I hate to say it, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Spirit got me on a whole other level, and the upgrades that I've had have been impeccable. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on there because Spirit needs me to, and I'm hella protected. My angels is up in this thing. I was going to show y'all, but I just said not to. But I will say, somebody's mother, this could even be a child's mother, has been using magic on um, someone to manipulate their mind so that this person does not want to move forward. Some of you guys really need to get to a big body or a big space of water and cross over it. <coughs> Excuse me, see? They want me to tell you. 
Know that your angels are here to assist you and that you are protected. You do not have to be afraid. Magic only works on the weak willed. So if you have a feeling in your gut, in the base of your soul, baby, and your intuition keeps screaming at you, your dream space keeps telling you what to do, your ancestors are showing up in your dreams telling you what to do, your elders who've crossed over are showing up in your dream space telling you what to do, baby, it's time that you pick up that damn phone and listen. A lot of you all will be, um, a lot of you all will be accepting the fact that you have mediumship abilities and moving in the space where you want to help other people. But there's some type of like, I know what I want to do. There's a sense of momentum, like movement, but there's like no direction behind the movement. And for some of you all, you're really needing to trust your intuition when it comes to talking to people about your new business during this time. Okay, but I do see there's an opportunity to forgive. For some of you all, there's unexpected income. For some of you all, there's some type of faded meeting, but what was once lost will now return back to you. It will now be falling. It's in falling in your lap. Okay? I want to spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius? The new lives of Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the month of June 2019 in love. Some of you guys, you really needed to trust your intuition. Some of y'all have been dreaming of something. And it's been reoccurring and the synchronicities around it. Again, for some of you all, if you've been if you've been wanting to start some type of business around being an empath, some, some about around being any type of light worker, around being any type of uh, tarot reader, for some of you all, you intuitively have been waiting for your harvest to come, baby. Here it is, but it's up to you to move forward and open your damn arms in order to receive it. Some of you guys also. Some of you guys also have um, some type of new beginning coming when it comes to your finances. Some of y'all may be leaving job or you leaving your job. Some of y'all may also know it's time to leave a particular place with how you make your money, a particular uh, dynamic. And Spirit wants you to know that you are protected, baby. You ain't finna lose nothing. You just gotta jump off the porch, badge, okay? But some of you all, some of you all could be dealing with the sign of Gemini. And some of you all intuitively know that things are not going to move forward and think, and your new beginning is elsewhere. For some of you all, you feel as if there is lost love with this with this particular lover. Some of y'all, this could be a twin flame. For others of you, this could also just be the sign of Gemini. But I definitely feel like this, either you or this person is not wanting to. It's like intuitively, both of y'all know that <laughs> that the angels are trying to uh, mend fences. You and this other person could also be a, uh, an, an intuitive or a psychic, okay? You could be dealing with another psychic. But I feel like someone wants to manifest a new beginning, something that is looking to be very prosperous, but the other person is like, nah. What messages? <clears throat> For some of you all, this could have to do with an Aquarius, okay? There could have been some type of tower moment, or maybe there's going to be some type of tower moment. Some of you all, you could have been trying to manifest something new. Some of you all were possibly on the brink of some type of engagement or something to the sorts. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the sign of Scorpio. But some of you all were on the brink of some type of engagement or some type of, some type of getting together. And for some of you all, there could have been some type of hit financially. I'm here in court. So some of you, somebody could be wanting to go to court and legalize or move forward as far as marriage during this time. But the other person could have been hiding the fact that they could have had some type of like paternity, um, like some type of somebody was tied to some some type of court documents. It could have even been some type of um like business loans or some type of student funds. But somebody's going to get hit. Could have been got, could have gotten hit, or this is going to happen in the month of June with connecting with somebody. If intuitively spirit has been telling you not to say yes and not to just jump off the damn cliff and go marry somebody, listen to your intuition, baby. Sleep with bay leaves under your pillow and write down what you want to know on that bay leaf, and you're welcome. <laughs> Secrets of the damn empress slash high priestess. <laughs> Some of you all. Some of you all, you want to move forward and offer some type of new beginning, possibly to a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have moved away from this person. Or maybe someone is traveling to come and see you to make you an offer. For some of you all, this is the offer of an apology and some type of financial assistance. For some of you all, this could have to do. Some of y'all are going to be uh, moving away from some. Um, some of y'all going to be moving away from a connection with a Virgo. Looks like due to this person being a bit promiscuous. It's, this could be, either be you or the other person, okay? Yeah, but someone is definitely being deceitful, okay? Someone is getting, getting ready to be single because somebody else, um, somebody else just, you know, they like to have their cake and eat it too, baby. They just like these hoes out here, or they just the hoes. For some of you all, 
Some of y'all is going to find out why offer has not been moving as fast as you wanted to. And for some of y'all, it's, it's because this person is connected to another person. Possibly a fire sign, an Aquarius, a Scorpio. Yeah. Some of you all. <laughs> some of y'all are charging me in quickly to make some type of an offer. Or... This is either an offer. Some of y'all are moving in quickly or you're receiving some type of, yeah. Some of y'all got another fire sign. You could be traveling to see another fire sign or another fire sign is traveling to see you. They want to fix and mend what was once broken, but I feel like the, 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 pretty much the desire is not to, it's not a two way street when it comes to that, okay? For some of you all, things have to move slowly because trust has to be rebuilt. And for some of y'all, this either you or this other person wants to move fast and she's going to go haywire because somebody got control issues, okay? For others of you, this is about a reconciliation. And some of y'all could have been in thought about reconciling with somebody moving forward. And then it's something about you and this person actually connects. And as soon as you think that something is solid, then you find that this person still got hoish ways, okay? But some of you all, you're dealing with a very deceitful or very conniving. I'm hearing conspiracy, conniving. So some of y'all are dealing with a very conniving air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, you could have... Uh, went into solitude or went into hermit mode on this person and in the midst of you actually separating yourself from this person everything that you intuitively had hits about everything's going to be coming to the surface in the month of june so some of y'all gonna be like oh i thought you were just going with Rhonda, but you out here with Rhonda and see and, and tina and sally and lakeisha and shay and all of it you just you just a you know you, you knew cisco now you know cisco and dma you should have been in the video the fuck Hey yo, <laughs> Tanya, Keisha, and Shelly, and Nina, and how many bitches he said in that song? I was, <laughs> I'm like, goodness, just whoa! Why is the high priestess here for Sag? Yeah, for some of you guys, it's about trusting your intuition when it comes to cutting someone off. This person could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And also about speaking your truth, standing upright, taking the damn mask off, seeing what it is that you have not been wanting to see, facing your fears. Why is the lovers in reverse? I don't even read reverse. Yeah. For some of you all, this has to do with your finances, okay? Spirit is saying for some of you all not to move forward and to kind of hold up before you just move, jump out there because this is what you've been trying to manifest. Hold on, wait a minute, you know, sit it out for a second, think about it, feel your way through. How are you feeling? Is there any flusters? Is there is there just a little because one thing about one thing about it, my papa used to say one percent of doubt your ass out. Okay? And usually that one that one percent of doubt examine it is what I'm saying before making a decision, okay? Because for some of y'all, money could be affected. Somebody could be um, wanting to actually build some type, build something with you because they see that you have either this could be you or another person could say, for some of y'all, I'm saying this is how you move it, okay? Especially if you a sad man. Because all the men in this figure, I'm noticing all the, and I've never noticed this from this perspective before, but I'm noticing all of the men characters that I have here, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, okay? For some of y'all, this is someone charging in, okay, to make an offer. They're charging in. They want to, I feel like this charging in has to do with having a conversation that is regarding something transformative, okay? Just moving very quickly. Maybe speaking out of terms, maybe speaking from an emotional standpoint, but I feel like they want to make an offer of some sort. But the 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 intention behind the offer with the here with this damn seven of swords with the damn hermit is what has me questioning this because... I feel like this person is wanting to make an offer because they see that you're kind of standing happily on your damn own. And I feel like maybe this person could have used money or could have used some type of essential tie. This could have even been children that they use. Somebody was playing the victim mode um, to kind of have that tie to you. And you cut the shit off. You moved away from it. And I feel like you're going to find out intuitively why you felt to do so during the month of June. Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? Yeah, some of you guys could have had an Aquarius person um, trying to come back to you or trying to. Some of y'all could have, some of y'all could be moving away from an Aquarius, which is going to cause a damn towel moment because someone's finally going to see the error of their damn way and they're going to want to start this new beginning. But for some of you all, you're going to find peace in that solitude, abundance in that solitude, which is going to push you forward into making a judgment call to possibly move towards a fire sign. Or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, with the tower here, for some of you all, this is about someone actually 
If some of y'all are traveling to see somebody, but you don't expect for this person, either you or another person, this could be an air sign coming to you. This person doesn't expect for you to pull out your damn sword, Sag. They expect for things to be all good because you've been away from them for quite some time. But no, motherfucker, you still didn't apologize for what you did. No. Truth will be spoken, or Sag is going to make a decision to say fuck you all together. Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Hermit? I need to know. We need to know. Yeah, for some of you all, someone is coming to make this offer. I feel like this person wants to start over, but this person, for some of y'all, this is about this person giving half-assed tr half truths. So ask the right questions, okay? Why is the Knight of Wands here with the Ace of Pentacles? For some of you all, this is about, some of y'all are actually moving to a whole nother space, and in doing so, it's going to bring you balance as well as bring love into your life. And for some of you all, this is about, yeah, rushing in to balance the situation with the soulmate. Fire sign, earth sign, water sign. Why is the judgment card here? What is Sash needing to make a judgment about? Yeah, for some of you all, this is actually about ending a situation or ending a situation that was toxic in order to move forward to fulfillment. Doing it from a space of solitude. But unknowingly walking in faith, not knowing that you're going to walk right up on your damn Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Hmm. Truth about deception. Truth about what a motherfucker did. And what you intuitively knew, you were another person. But it is going to bring the cycle all the way to an end, to a close. So someone is walking away, releasing something. Situation will be unveiled. Where maybe in the past someone could have been defensive. Okay? So, Spirit, what's your best advice for Sagittarius in love? What's your best advice for Sagittarius in love? Three cards. Yeah. For some of you all, instead of assessing what it is that you've put in and how much you've invested, in the past with someone from the past, okay? The best advice here is to assess if you're going to reconcile with someone where well, there could have been some type of third party situation, okay? And for some of y'all, if you're going to reconcile or if you're going to release the shit. For others of you, if you're going to actually keep investing in someone who just can't walk away from third party shit, okay? Or someone who has two damn options, or if you're going to reconcile some type of family dynamic where there was some type of marriage or some type of structure. And some of you all, there's some type of reconciliation happening, occurring. Some of y'all, somebody just wants to hold a marriage together because of the monetary aspect of it. So you needed to make a decision and ask the right questions and question people's motherfucking motives. Okay? What's the motives, boo? What's your motives, boo? Period. Alright, so this is what I have for my Sagittarius, my baby. If you need a personal reading, you all, please hit me up. That information can be found in the description. I send you all many blessings, peace, love, and light, you guys. And I will see you all mid-month. And also, like, share, tell a friend. Y'all better get y'all comment on. I said the, uh, I was telling everybody the uh, the sign that has the most um, views um, is, is the sign that I'm actually going live with next month because I'm going to have to put everybody together but I said I'm picking one out of every element so I'm going to have one fire, one air one water, one earth that I'm actually going live with, with the signs and anybody else I'm going to have to kind of group them together so with that said y'all better get y'all like on, y'all know y'all said just like to be live and on, live and lit so get your like on get your damn comment on get your share on and do this shit. Share with a friend. And I'll see you later. Love y'all. Bye y'all.